Hey everyone, this week we have the million dollar question in this heavy seller's market. I want to sell my house, I need to sell my house, whether I'm upgrading or downsizing or moving across town or across states or job relocation, whatever the case may be, I need to sell, I want to sell, but where will I live after I've sold my property with this shortage of inventory that we're experiencing everywhere not just in one state but it's all over the country there's no easy answer to this question guys the best we can do is be practical and realistic follow this process step by step and pay attention as things happen if we're selling and buying we're gonna fall under one of two categories the first category is can we afford to purchase a home without actually say, selling our existing property first. If that's the case, things become a lot simpler because then you don't have to worry about where you're gonna live. You're gonna go out, start looking for the property that you wanna purchase. First, you'll get a contract on it, make sure that things work out, and after that, you'll put up your existing home for sale. If that's the case, it's pretty clear cut and straightforward. Now, unfortunately, most of us do not fall under that category. Most of us will have to sell our current existing home before we can afford to buy a second home or our new home. So the very first step in answering the question is figuring out what our financial capabilities are. So once we've figured that out, we have our pre-qualifying letter, we've talked to the uh, mortgage loaner, we understand exactly where we stand, and now we're faced with the fact that, hey, in order for us to purchase, we have to sell our existing home first in a traditional market a balanced market where it's a buyer's market and there isn't a shortage of inventory you would put up your house for sale first get a contract on it and then go shopping for the new house so you can show those owners that you're serious about purchasing their property this won't work for you necessarily in a heavy seller's market like we're experiencing right now this might help you sell your house without a doubt, but then you might be left without a house for a considerable amount of time. So the approach that you want to take is in reverse, the opposite of what you would do in a balanced market. You still want to get your financial paperwork in place so you know what you can afford, but before you can get a contract or before you put up your existing home for sale, you want to go out shopping, get in touch with the owners, their agent, explain to them your situation, right? And get a contract prior to actually having a contract on your existing home. Because most people are reasonable people and they will understand that, hey, in this environment, you will not have any problems selling your current home. But that's one major way to ensure that you're not going to be homeless. Now, I know that the element of time kicks in and if you're under time pressure and you only have a limited amount of time to get all this done, that may put you in a very awkward situation, especially if we're talking about a job relocation where it's across states. Well, as much as I hate to say this, if push comes to shove, you may have to, cons if you don't have a choice but to sell and then you don't have a choice but to sell and then buy then what you may have to do is sell your existing home and for a short while you may have to actually go out and rent a place before you can find the right property for you and your family because the worst thing that you can do is act out of desperation and get yourself in a huge financial hole that's going to take you years to climb out of i know it's not a clear-cut answer but again, as you're going through the process step by step, as things happen, looking at those facts and understanding the reality around your situation will definitely help you make the next decision and take the next step. A lot of times you can't even see the next step until you, you, you take the step that's right in front of you. I hope this was helpful and useful to some of you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll see you all next week. Thank you for joining me.